John here and welcome to The Martial Actor. Today's gonna be a little bit of a different video. I wanted to celebrate the channel crossing a thousand subscribers. Now, we crossed a thousand about two weeks ago and we are already at 3,500. I'm like blown away by the growth that we've been having. I'm just gonna be reading the questions off of my phone and yeah, let's dive right in. Now, the first question is from the Kila Sunrise, and they ask, when did you start? Did you always know you wanted to do it professionally? I started acting in college. I studied it formally for like four or five years. So since then, I have known that I've wanted to act professionally, and I have like a really strong background in martial arts, so I would really love to do action films. Like, that's the dream. Garen Rout asks, is it true you have a degree in acting? Yes, I do. A bunch of you asked different flavors of the same question. I'm just gonna read them off really quick. Jujian asks, what inspired you to be a martial artist? Artist. Jonathan asks, when do you start learning martial arts? Hamigan asks, how did you get into martial arts? N.A. Ravindra asks, when did you get into martial arts? And Alex LOL asks, what inspired you to do karate? Now, to be totally frank, I don't remember a time in my life when I didn't want to do martial arts. Like ever since I was a kid, it's something that I've always wanted to do. So I got my first job when I was 15, and then I started using the pay from that job to start paying for martial arts class. Um, and I've been doing it on and off since then, so about 15 years. Now, I remember always watching like Power Rangers as a kid and always playing like Power Rangers with my brothers and sisters, but also movies like Karate Kid were highly influential for me as a child. I really loved watching them. I think it'd be fun to dive a little bit deeper into my background in martial arts for you guys. So this is my Tory gate, which has all of the belts that I have earned. It's like a, just a nice little way to frame them all. I never know what to do with it, so right now it's just sitting in my garage. I also have my black belt certifications. Most people put them up on a wall. I have not done that, but yeah. This is my first one, first degree black belt, and this is my second degree black belt. There you go. I also have this box of old trophies that I have. Back in the day, I used to compete way more than I do now. So let's pull those out. <clears throat> okay, so this is second place men's kata. This is second place self-defense techniques. This is first place men's sparring, or I'm not sure what this one is for. And then this one is second place sparring. All these are from statewide or regional tournaments. I never competed on a national level. So yeah. But yeah, karate is something I always wanted to do. My family could never afford it. So as soon as I could start paying it for myself, I got a job and did. And that's why I started. Let's see. Alex LOL asks, does anyone in your family do karate? Yes, I got my little sister into it actually, and she is a black belt as well. And do you like anime? Yeah, big fan. I'm currently reading My Hero Academia. Cryptic Anbu asks, what was the hardest task for you while you earned your black belt? Um, probably for my first degree, I was... 19, I think, when I got it, but I was on track to get it when I was 17 turning 18, and then I got mono. So I was out for probably like six or eight months with absolutely no training. So when I hopped back into it, I had to try to catch up really quickly, which was quite difficult. I actually have some videos of me training as like a younger kid right before black. And it's probably like my peak shape I've ever been in. So I'll include those clips. But my second degree test was just straight up hard. I was testing in California and I actually got to test with my little sister, which was pretty fun. But it was like six or eight hours long and I just remember being tired after like the second hour on. So yeah, it was hard. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> um, Nargon46 asks, have you ever done stunt work in a film or indie project? Yeah, I have. Stunt work isn't my specialty. I prefer acting and doing my own fight scenes rather than stunt work, but I have done stunts, mostly for indie projects. My most recent stunt gig was coordinating an independent short for a friend of mine, but 
Yeah, I really like precision driving. I've only ever had one precision driving gig, but that was probably my favorite. Deviant Davis asks, what movies have you worked on? Slash, what was your favorite? Again, that precision driving gig was pretty fun. I have not done a ton of like blockbuster stuff, but again, I've done a lot of indie stuff. The most recent independent full length film I did was playing like a drummer in a band. And that was fun. I used to do percussion in high school. But my favorite project that comes to mind is probably another independent. It was a pilot for a TV show that was a reimagining of Pride and Prejudice in modern day, and I got to play Darcy. That was pretty fun. Nick asks, what was your favorite martial arts show you've broken down? I haven't done a ton of martial arts shows yet. I'm really excited to do a lot more for you guys, but my favorite one thus far has probably been Atomic Blonde. That is a movie that was made by action people for action people, and it's just so good. So yeah, that's probably my favorite. So Random and Quirky asks, out of every fictional character in movies slash TV, whose fighting style is most realistic? This one is tough because most stuff that you see on film and TV is not realistic. That's because the most realistic stuff doesn't look really flashy. So if I had to say one fictional character, uh, I would say probably something from like, the Fast franchise, or actually Jason Bourne. Jason Bourne has some pretty good, gritty, effective stuff. Yeah, let's go with him. Sorry asks, what are your favorite martial arts movies? What are your favorite fight scenes in movies? I can be pretty critical, but I generally like most movies that I see. As for like favorite martial arts movies, things that come to mind, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Hero, the Karate Kid movies. I like the Fast franchise. Just like the, action films that everyone loves. As for favorite fight scenes, there is actually this one that I really enjoyed seeing. And I can't remember what movie it's from. It's from like an East Asian film. The premise is there's these two children whose father's like an assassin or something, but the movie opens and they have a fight at the dinner table, but it moves into them arguing over who gets the remote for like after dinner TV. And it just escalates into this like epic sibling rivalry fight where they're like actually beating each other up. I can't remember the name of that movie but i thought that the premise was brilliant and the slow burn into the giant fight is like really fun to watch if any of you know what movie i'm talking about let me know put it in the comments i would love to watch it again hyper underscore sb asks if you were offered to make an appearance on any martial arts show which would it be i would love to get in on the marvel craze i think that the movies are great i really like the universe i've been into comics since i was a kid so yeah just like a marvel tv show being on something like Daredevil or something like Iron Fist. Of course, Cobra Kai would be awesome. So yeah, stuff like that. Altogether, Audrey asks, do you edit your own videos? Yes, I do. And I think that they have come quite a long way since the first video. So that's something that I'm actually pretty proud of. But yeah. Andrew Bothwell asks, worst movie for martial arts, not deliberately bad or camp, just downright bad. Now, again, like I'm pretty easy to please when it comes to movies. I can be critical, but I know how hard they are to make. And so I'm generally pretty forgiving. That being said, anytime I read about a stunt performer getting like permanently injured or even worse of dying, that is unacceptable. People's livelihoods and lives coming at the cost of pursuing entertainment is never acceptable. Acceptable. You should always have the proper safety procedures in place, but unfortunately it does happen. So yeah, I'm gonna say anytime that happens on a film or set, those are my least favorite movies. So that would be Expendables 2, Walking Dead, Deadpool 2, the like third or fourth Maze Runner film. Yeah, not okay. Mr. Yeeter69 asks, should you show mercy? And have you played the Cobra Kai video game? I'm gonna say yes, you should show mercy. And actually, no, I have not played the Cobra Kai video game. I am a huge gamer, but uh, it's not one I've checked out yet. I Love Potatoes asks, does Kempo count as karate or another martial art? And do you like Elvis Presley? He did karate while in the army. Yes, Kempo does count as karate. And yeah, I like Elvis Presley. He's great. 
Also, while we're talking about this, I get asked this all the time in comments, what kind of martial arts do I do? My black belts are in American Kempo Karate, and that's basically a westernized version of Okinawan Kempo. It's very similar. It's got a lot of jujitsu in it, but then it's also got echoes of Southern Kung Fu as well. The past year or two, I've been starting to get into more cross training, like Western boxing, Taekwondo, Tai Chi. I really want to get into BJJ and probably more Judo as well but uh yeah hair pair 84 asks what wins martial arts or shotgun now this is an argument that many people get into i'm just gonna say it depends on the situation does the shotgun have bullets Anitha AV asks, any paranormal experience? Not really, no. Clean Power asks, is Mr. Miyagi your secret grandfather? Unfortunately, no, I would have loved that. He's a legend. And those are all the questions. <laughs> now, I just wanna say, I am so thankful for everyone that watches my videos. I sincerely appreciate each and every one of you. I try to respond to every single comment and I'm just so thankful to be able to do this. I'm really excited to see where the channel goes and I think we'll do another Q&A at 10K, so subs. I have chosen the next show that I'm going to be covering and we'll get the first part of that show next week. So stay tuned. And that's all I've got for you today. So take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you next time.